Today I'm going to be making a classic cheese sauce that can be used as a basis for lots of other dishes. Now I've got a pan just warming, to that I'm going to add some butter. Now I've weighed this out, it's 50 grams, I'm just going to let that melt. Then once the butter's melted and just starting to foam, it's time to add the flour. And give that a good stir and I'm going to cook it quite gently. I think it needs at least one or two minutes just so it really cooks out that raw flavour of the flour. After a couple of minutes you'll see that the mixture starts to look a bit drier. It sort of goes biscuity. I'm just going to remove it from the heat and add a little bit of milk. Add the milk quite gradually, working through any lumps as you go. I find it much easier if you warm the milk first so it goes warm milk into warm pan. You're less likely to get lumps. Now I'm just going to use a whisk to add the remainder of the milk just to make sure I get a really nice smooth sauce. In that goes. The consistency you're after is just thick enough to coat the back of the spoon, so that's perfect. Now for the cheese, I'm using an Essential Waitrose Mature Cheddar. I'm going to add it a handful at a time, just whisking as I go, keeping it off the heat. And a classic cheese sauce like this is such a useful thing to have on standby. You can use it for cauliflower cheese, macaroni cheese, and it's fantastic in a fish pie. It's also very good for freezing. So just continue to whisk it in. Now, cheddar makes the best base for a cheese sauce, but if you wanted to, you could add in other flavours, maybe gruyere or smoked cheese, just to change it up a little bit. Last bit of cheese going in now, and then I'm just going to add a little bit of Dijon mustard, which really, really works well with the flavour of the cheese. In that goes. And just whisk that in, and that's our lovely, silky smooth cheese sauce, all ready to serve. And for more recipes, don't forget to click to subscribe.